Hey YouTube, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, this is my first voiceover tutorial, so hopefully you guys will like it. I have a lot to improve, but I did my best, and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Roll the intro. Hey guys, um, Art Pipeline here. Um, this is my first voiceover video, and it's gonna be the first tutorial um step by step for you guys and um, today we're gonna be modeling a dagger hopefully you guys saw that in the thumbnail and uh, this video is being made with the intentions that you know the basics of maya so uh i'll be going in and just walking through on how i model stuff and uh if you guys do like this video and uh, really want to learn the basics of Maya. I mean, there are many tutorials, but uh, I could make one for you guys and uh, you guys can learn the way I model. So for example, you know, being really quick like that, like that, adding edges, getting this out and, you know, quick modeling. So, which I tend to do. So if you guys would like that, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to make a tutorial on that as well and you guys can follow my journey and my videos much more better right so uh, I'm gonna keep this video really short I don't wanna extend it over 30 minutes 35 minutes I'm gonna keep it really uh, short and sweet for you guys uh, to follow so uh, let's get started right so I have this dagger in mind uh, so let's uh, Let's see how we can do this. So, uh, and I'm very new to this, so I'm just gonna be all over the place, but uh, hopefully uh, the videos get better in the future as I keep learning more about uh, all this stuff. So, um, yeah, so got a cube out, right? Uh, scaled it, uh, you can press uh, R for scaling this I do not know why I keep that uh, do not press S uh, but uh, yeah so uh, scaled it a little bit and uh, what I'm gonna do now uh, what I usually do for swords and I really think uh, this will help you guys as well is if you delete these two faces here right and this is gonna be the sword or the dagger length and uh, what you guys can do is add a loop here and if you go to the side view here you should be able to push that down right uh, so as you can see that this face here has the shading issue that's because of the normals you can fix that by doing that okay so moving on uh, let's bring this up here right and we're gonna get the basic shape of this so dagger is gonna be a little long in length uh, approximately that much let me just send a pivot that um, okay and let's give it a curve now right so I'm just gonna push this down here and I'm gonna bevel this and then add in segments and that uh, immediately gives us a nice curve uh, instead of doing it manually I wouldn't recommend that um, so this is a tip you guys can use if you want to do it uh, that way so let's just go back in here right and as you can see that this is coming out well not right now uh, so another thing you can, we need to do now is get the tip of the dagger so um, let's see how we can do this so let's go here right let's set the tip right there and we can slowly get the shape just like that right so we got that and uh, you guys can always hit three and you know that this is smooth so you can always keep smoothing your models out just to check if it uh, if it doesn't deform in a weird way right so let's do the sharpness on top as well so what we're gonna do is go here to this orthographic wheel, select a few vertices from exactly the point we did, go to the top view, 
focus that hit on R right and uh, let's scale this L let me see do we scale the whole thing should we do that yeah I think we should do that let's uh you can press 4 to go to wireframe mode and uh, sometimes makes things simpler let's go doing that 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 and there we go so we have that sharpness there right so as you can see it's taking shape we can go back here pull these two out right because you want to give that sharpness or you could extrude this anything would work so you, let's extrude that in this case and I'm just giving it this curve right here and uh, if I push this up I'm gonna slide this I'm not gonna push it down as you can see that my cursor says slide so I'm basically sliding that and uh, the way you do that is uh, let me show you guys so if you hold if you select an edge or a vertex you want to slide right and if you move it you can see that it deforms the mesh right so you guys would have known that if you manually move it uh, if you hold down control shift right you can see that as soon as you go on top of that your cursor says slide so now you're sliding it in that surface right constraining it so yeah that's a little tip um coming back here let's deselect that oops hit r and yeah that's pretty much done right and if we need it we can seal this actually let's do that merge that and hit g to repeat an operation so there you go so let's push this out a little deselect that push this out even further and let's hit three and there you go you have that uh, shape right here what we could do is uh, instead of if you don't like to work with triangles let's just go back a bit right so let me just go back here open this up right because this is really really thin so it won't be visible that much so what we could do is we could bridge this right and then we could just fill this hole right and that'll give us this nice uh, curve here and if you want to fix this triangle here that's an easy fix you just add a loop here and that's a quad now right and we got some sturdiness on top so that works and now if we hit three that looks perfect okay and uh, before we go into further let's add a loop right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these move them slightly at this angle move this a little bit more and this to finish it off like that so you guys can see that I'm trying to get this shape here and if I hit this and this magic so it's basically edit so editing the edge flow so it kind of takes the shape so that your wireframe stays clean uh, as you can see uh, history is getting built up and uh, that's one of the biggest reasons Maya crashes on you so keep clearing that out and uh, that should keep your Maya from crashing and uh, there we go okay that doesn't look bad what we could do is uh, give it some few adjustments right here right here and right here okay and if you want you could give it some cuts if you like that um, let's try one shall we um, let's do that right and as you can see I uh, slid that loop I did not manually do that let's give it a cut like that let's take this slide that a little bit more delete that right and just zoom into that and let's see what we're working with here so we have 
one triangle here, one triangle here, right? So let's fix that. Now build up polygons and there you go. So you have a small cut there, right? So pretty simple. Um, so we have one cut here. You could repeat that process if you want. And as you can see that there's a there's tension being built because these two uh, loops are really close to each other. So what we could do that, what we could do to release that tension a little bit is move this back, right? And move this a little bit more. Let's move this a little bit here. And there you go. And that should get rid of any uh, pinches if there are any. Uh, let's fix this again. Perfect. Okay. So we got that. Um, let's see. Let's make uh, the middle uh, handle for it now. So uh, pretty simple. Let's get a cube. Let's push that back. Uh, I highly recommend uh, you guys to have a reference image of something you guys are working on. Uh, helps a lot. Uh, so, you know, you can just trace it out. So that's what I actually meant. Okay, so now to let's uh, to make the handle. As you can see, we have a uh, three edge here. If we had uh, three edges in this, it would be really good. We have one and two right now. So let's extrude that and now we have three, right? So let's select that. And what I'm doing here is called vertex snap. And snapping, ooh, okay, we need more. I'm sorry. Uh, let's add this here, right? And um, okay. Um, so after that, let's see how this is looking. So as you can see that it has snapped to the vertex. So we have that shape going, right? And let's follow this a little bit here. Follow this a little bit here. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this portion a little bit more thicker and then it's gonna become a little thin as we go so that the handle has this shape right here. Right, so now let's push that up a bit. Perfect, okay. So let's uh, get that and as you can see this pivot is off. Let's fix that. Press R, make this a little big, right? And yep, okay, perfect. So we're gonna um, take that face, we're gonna extrude it, right? And we'll add a loop here and we'll push that in and push that in and maybe just raise this a bit, right? Okay, and get this face out here and push this back in, but add a loop here so that we can push that in and push this in just like that. Right, okay. So now I'm just gonna re-adjust these vertices slowly. And uh, I think the shape is gonna work out fine. But, uh, I'm not gonna overcomplicate this. I just uh, want it to be as simple as it can for you guys to follow along. And let's see, um, that works, right? Okay, perfect. It's a, it's a bit too square, but uh, we can always fix that. Um, so let's see, what else can we do with this? How does it look? Oh. Banana. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, if I take all these, bevel that, give it a little fraction, give it a segment right there, and it already gets a little bit shape, as you guys can see, right? Um, so we could do that as well, but um, or maybe actually select every edge and then select the top edges as well and uh, that should do it that should uh, actually be even better but before we do that let's add just this and uh, you know what let's transform this 
and open it up like that right just give it a little bit more depth okay let's see how that looks that doesn't look bad yeah that doesn't look bad okay so anyways it's low poly art so uh, we'll stick to that harden edges that's what I did there right and now let's make uh, the handle so that's gonna be pretty simple as well gonna keep it really simple let's take a cylinder right uh, bring this here uh, I'm gonna spin that to 90 you could do this way or you could just hold the J key and spin it uh, it snaps to uh, 15 degrees if I'm right okay so let's go here 16 is the number let's see where I want to place this okay I'm gonna place this here right and I'm gonna fix this part here go on top focus this okay and I'm gonna make it a little bit more thin or it needs to be a little bit more thick right so that it's comfortable to hold and uh, let's yeah shrink it a little bit there we go perfect okay so now that we have this right first step uh what we're gonna do is obviously harden edge because that shading issue is kind of annoying um let's get a let's get a loop in the middle and what we're gonna do right now is probably select this and select all these faces right oh uh, if you guys uh, have a question so for example if you want to select uh, a few faces like just say this right there are multiple ways you could do this which is selecting each face individually right uh, you could even uh, do it this way where you select everything come to the side view and then just remove what you don't want and there you go right just some quick ways and uh, innovative ways of doing it or the best way which I know and most probably you guys would know it but if you don't uh, hope this helps is uh, hold, hold down tab and you get this icon with the gizmo going off and allowing you to work on the, your model so hold down tab click and yeah select any face you want and let go and you got it right so yeah that is what I exactly did there so let me let me see this let me get that much well that too that's too much that's too high um this let's see hmm no we can get this okay perfect um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude that in just a little bit right hit four and as you can see that it has extruded quite in a little bit I'm just gonna push that out right perfect okay so now that we have that we can just extrude this completely out and bring it over here okay oh um, you can straighten this out if you want just for the timing and uh, let's let's connect this first Right. Um, so I'm going to take this, push it here, push it here, push this, snap that there, snap this here. Uh, we're going to uh, save this for later and I'm going to snap this here. Right. So as you can see that there's two points left out here. So what we can do is just push this right and let's take our blade again or actually just the handle add a loop here and here and uh, that's anyways gonna give more sturdiness so that's not an issue did I do it wrong yeah I did that wrong sorry um, I'm gonna snap that here and I'm gonna snap this here and rinse and repeat that and snap that here right there we go so we got that so our handle is now connected to our dagger perfect now let's uh, 
give this a little bit of shape so as you guys know raise that oh, oh, this is what it's gonna do right right I forgot oh uh, so basically what I'm trying to do is uh, repeat this curve over here right you could do it uh, multiple ways but uh, this was a quick one and actually it kind of messes it up when you have a lot of um, loops flowing so that's why it's acting a little bit weird but um, so for example we have four right if we had even less uh, it would make sense but you know because the bevel kind of goes all crazy here okay but that's not an issue we can we can do that um let's see let's add one more here and one more here right and just push this up and there you go we have a handle okay perfect let's hit three on that looks good oh uh, remember that um sorry not remember it's just a tip uh that a cylinder has this uh, faces right here right because uh, all our triangles uh, it doesn't help if you work with that so what I'm doing that right now is I delete that I'm going to top view select this half delete that come back here get this um, right extrude it in right extrude that one more time in um, I'm gonna extrude this out, bevel that, get this one loop inside and now if you hold three you see that it's much more cleaner because everything is quad and you can see that the loop flow is perfect right so you could uh, do that I highly recommend you guys doing that and what you can do right now is fill this hole right and when that is uh, filled what you guys can do is use this multi-cut tool which is pretty helpful and go ahead and uh, you know fix the loop here so basically um, making everything a quad there you go it's done right so now look at that looks clean right um, so when that is done let's give this a little bit more definition um, wait a second how can we do this Let's go into wireframe, pull this out, right? Because I want to give this a little extra space right here. And as you can see that um, this line is, can be a little bit more up here, right? And let's just edit that as well. So push this a little bit down here right and give this just like that and if we add another loop it's gonna uh, give support to that and uh, so for this what we could do is now if oh great okay it's still doing that no worries um so i'm just gonna add in a couple more right let's add in a couple more isolate this select these delete that right and then just edit this there you go oops uh, that doesn't want to be edited but yeah there you go um perfect looks much better now right okay so now let's hit three on this that has some nice shape to it um i'm just gonna grab this slide that just a little bit to release that tension give this an edit and there you go that should be much better yeah okay let's harden that get rid of the shading right um, coming back to this let's see what we can do here right um, what do we do uh, let's just give this a little bit more definition oh, would you say we make this uh, hollow yeah I think that'll that look nice right I think that will do the trick I'm gonna select that it gives us a bevel so that it has a loop which is flowing around that give it a segment in the middle right 
I'm just gonna level this. Give this segments right here and take that, take that, bubble that, make it less. Give that segments right there and go up here. Clear that out, bring this here and take this, combine, select everything, merge. And you have this merged. There you go. Your handle's complete. Right? Okay. Let's just go back and take this, take that, and bridge. Ta da! Uh, let's just bevel that just to get that clean edge there. And there you go. Looks cool. Looks simple, right? Okay, perfect. So um, now that we have that, you could, uh, if this is uh, too smooth for you, you guys could give it a little bit more definition by adding a loop and sliding it back, right? And there you go. You have that little hardness there. I think that looks fine. Uh, let's just um, get rid of all the history. And uh, okay, let's see if, hmm. Could we do something else here? Actually, we could. We could actually um, add in a lot more. I just uh, don't want to overcomplicate anything because these were just normal extrusions and bevels and adds, right? So uh, that kept it simple. Mm, okay, that's okay. Let's not uh, overdo anything right now. Uh, not on my first project at least I'm I'm still a little bit nervous uh, recording this and speaking uh, yeah so that's done um let's see here okay perfect so we're gonna take this right and let's select that and let's select that as well and uh, oops we missed this okay, let's bubble that how does that look Okay, not bad. So let's give that a little bit and give that a segment, right? And we'll bevel this and let that stay like that. How does that look? Hmm, not bad, right? Wait, what if I get rid of these two, which I just beveled, and now if I hit three, no. That doesn't look good you can see that deformation here yeah let's not do that let's give this a nice bevel probably just uh, in the middle or wait what if we just kaboom yeah let's keep it simple <laughs> okay perfect simple it is um let's give this smooth see how this is okay this is coming great um, let's go back here at one right um, let's give this a little bit more definition right so uh, because we worked with quads here it's gonna help us a lot right so for example if I take this and if I take this it's gonna be really clean it's not gonna give us any issues there but I'm afraid if, um, let's see, let's bevel this. Yeah, it's gonna remain quads for sure. But uh, the bevel is gonna be really small here. That's the issue. Oh, it's gonna be really tight. Um, Let's see, okay, let's try this out. What if we add a loop here, right? So we can add loops. Let's add one there. And um, let's see. So if we give one in this corner and one in this corner, it should stabilize the whole mesh, right? Yeah, there you go. And uh, what we could do at the end to get give this a little definition. So let's isolate this. Let's isolate that first. Select this. Select that and. Perfect. And 
because this is gonna have a little bit more definition than the others. Let's level that. Does that interrupt the mesh? No, it doesn't. Oops. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So give that a little bit more. And let's add that one and check. Well, oh, it's clean. Um, there's no tear here, and we could add one, obviously, to make this a little sharp and make this a little sharp. So uh, I usually don't keep adding loops like this because uh, we usually bevel stuff and it kind of makes uh, things a little bit more cleaner, right? So, but that's another long process because uh, loop management and polygon management will come into play and I don't want to go into all that just for now, for at least this video because I'm just keeping this so you guys can understand how to at least basic model and uh, please do let me know if you want something about even topology related stuff and yeah I would love to do that as well so for now let's just keep that like that because it works right without anything and everything is squat it's just they're just tiny so selecting all this and looking at it again that doesn't look bad right okay switch it around yeah looks pretty much clean okay perfect so that is done so yeah the dagger is pretty much done and we could now um uv this texture it and all that jazz right but um so this is the basic modeling for the dagger. Uh, I'm just gonna take this into Blender, uh, get it a clean uh, lighting for this setup. And uh, hopefully, yeah, you guys would love that as well. But um, I'm still learning Blender. I am new to it. So uh, I'm not gonna speak uh, and show you each and every step but um, I'm gonna keep it as a speed, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make it as a speed tutorial from now, uh, from this point of time. So hope you guys like this and uh, enjoy the render. Take care, bye-bye. Still a city, still so far from home I've searched for you all my life Cast out like a shadow, racing towards the light I pray to see you one more time